The clouds really began to clear out here across most of West Michigan. We're sitting to partly to mostly sunny skies across the area, so I hope you're out enjoying the sunshine that we're seeing in the early parts of February. Temperatures pretty mild as well, sitting in the low 30s. As we look over Stanton right now, it's blinding the camera. We're seeing lots of sunshine there in the northern portions of our viewing area. Down in Grand Rapids, a little layer of clouds, a little hazy out there. Overall, partly cloudy, though. We are seeing a lot of sun reflect off of the building, so it has been a great Sunday across the area. And temperatures, we did near freezing today here in Grand Rapids. We just touched 32 degrees. Traverse City sitting at 37 degrees, the warmest of the bunch in Michigan. But then as you go out to the east, or 16 in Minneapolis, based to 44 down near the Iowa-Illinois border. We're going to have warmer air start to creep into our area as we go throughout this week, but we do have winds to deal with today. We're seeing those gusts anywhere from 20 to 25, even 28 miles per hour in Muskegon. Overall, out of the south, pretty gusty again, upwards of 10 to 15 miles per hour sustained winds. In the afternoon hours, that'll be consistent and into tomorrow as well. Well, allowing for those feels like temperatures to be a little chillier as well. We're seeing 21 in Kalamazoo, 24 in Grand Rapids, 25 in Holland, 24 in Benton Harbor. Now these temperatures will cool off a little bit tonight. Not too much though. We'll only see the mid 20s for our lows today before we go to the upper 20s for the highs tomorrow. On satellite radar right now, we're seeing those clouds with a break in the clouds right through the northern Kent County into Montcalm County as well. A few light flurries were making their way on shore in Van Buren and Allegan County, but those have seemed to weaken. We are seeing a little bit there just north of Lansing as well. Overall, any flurries we see tonight will be very light, but we can't rule out a few flurries in the overnight hours and in this evening as well temperatures again only dropping off very slowly lake effect snow will be lingering throughout tonight and early tomorrow morning we could see anywhere from a half inch to an inch in the early morning hours of monday we'll break that down coming up at fox 17 news at 10 and 11 with the full seven day forecast